Alright everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, I've been trying to readjust my sleeping schedule because it's been a pretty crazy post-inauguration. Uh, so now things are a little bit back more to normal. Um, the good news is I've actually found some new info that we can source instead. So we're actually going to be changing uh, what I cover somewhat uh, going forward. Um, so I've been trying to figure out how I want to disperse it because I've got a lot of F-word pricks that are actually just constantly, like, you know, attacking me now and stuff. Because obviously Joe Biden is quote-unquote president. He's really not, but don't go around saying that too much in public. Because everyone's getting banned if you say otherwise. So now it's actually like communist China. Like you actually can't criticize the government. Or like we're heading we're heading pretty far down that pathway. So uh, there's a new person I've le learned recently, and he actually just does stock trading. Uh, he's actually really good. Uh, he has a 90% success rate. He puts all his info for free on YouTube, and he actually correctly as the dot called the March the March and February 2020 crash because of the stupid coronavirus crap. Uh, so he has a very different perspective and I've been I'm still listening to all his videos because I'm trying to figure out his thought process and he got it right pretty much the whole time. So he covers everything crude oil um, uh, yeah crude oil the, the, the obvious three big ones uh, and precious metals and yeah, and basically treasuries and all this stuff. So the idea is everything's interconnected because just like when they were trying to figure out how they were uh, uh, manipulating the machines during the election, I have to keep it a little broad, uh, They, the NSA and all the intelligence, they were like, okay, we checked the internet, we checked for VPNs, there's nothing there. Well, it turns out they were using military satellites from some Italian, you know, government uh, thingamajig or something like that so anyway they were able to figure out the mechanics of how the trap the data was going back and forth so you know well now that trump's not president anymore you know the, that'll just deal with itself that's kind of the reason why a lot of the italian government's actually been collapsing saying conte uh also resigned which doesn't get which doesn't isn't getting a lot of uh press coverage but we all know all this is fake so so basically when we go back to the markets, especially with cryptocurrency, we're trying to figure I was One thing I always knew is I knew the tr where the trends kind of basically were going all this time. Right? You, you've been, a lot of you have been here with me for years. The problem is I could not figure out the actual mechanics, like the actual how are they manipulating it. Well, it turns out that guy I'm watching now does this. So it turns out it has, it has, it has to do with the 10-year treasury yield uh, and the way it goes up or down and crude oil. So going forward, we're just going to explain this, and then uh, I have I, I do uh, my my stock market account right now was tr I was trying to upgrade it to a margin account because I want options level five, so I could do something called credit spreads, where I can basically it's an advanced form of options writing, but you're hedged, so there's no more unlimited risk. The problem is the 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 stupid fucking Federal Reserve is, is like put my account on something called a house and Fed call. So I, it's my account is completely fucking locked. I'm so pissed off because the fucking markets are going up right now, right? I missed out on GameStop, and then it shot up to like $158 yesterday, and I couldn't, I couldn't get in on the instant cash. There was an article in Yahoo yesterday on the front page here that said someone paid off all their student loans because of it, all right? I could have made like, you know, 50 grand or whatever, 25 grand. Now, it's not my brokerage's fault this time, so it's not an E-Trade situation. It's the fucking Federal Reserve. And I still am locked out of my fucking account. And I already talked to the customer service rep. They basically said it'll either, either be fixed today or tomorrow. And apparently it's not going to be today because it's already 10.51 a.m. as I do this. And I still can't access the fucking money. I'm, I like want to just like punch something. Right? Everyone's getting fucking rich except me. It, 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 this always happens. There's always something fucking gay. Right? I'm going to allow myself one G word today. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to get in, but they're also having a stupid Fed meeting tomorrow. So I don't know how long this stupid bullshit retard crap like takes. So anyway, in the meantime, 
If you really want to know, because I'm not going to mention the guy's name, or I guess maybe I accidentally slipped, but I'm not going to go over in these videos, because I'm going to make you do the hard work. So, if you go to my live stream, trovo.live.realjunsonchan, I pretty much stream every day. I'm definitely going to be streaming five days a week, because, you know, we got to catch up on the markets, because this is now how I'm going to be making my living. Because I was, all, before my fucking stupid retard account got locked out, I was able to get in on four of the trades that he recommended, or five. I sold the, I had, he, had, he closed the first one at a loss. I only lost like 60 bucks, so who cares? Uh, but my other, my other calls, uh, Spider Index, which is the S&P 500 index. And the other one is General Electric, June 18th, 2021 calls. Uh, that's already up like $114. Well, make that 124 now, because it's obviously going up and down. But obviously towards the upside. So I'm already in profit just listening to this guy, and I and the other the other calls are still kind of like languishing or whatever, but a whole bunch will go back up too. So so now I don't have to worry about money. I just have to get my fucking stupid like I'm just so pissed off right now. Everyone's getting rich except me because the stupid Federal Reserve just unlock my effing account. There's the thing is pure cash because you remember from my previous two videos I sold everything, and it was the right move ish. Because it turns out God was, you know, guiding me towards, you know, this this new stock guy that I'm using. And he gives everything away for free. Oh, actually, I just showed him on the screen. So I guess you're going to pause it. So the way the uh, so the way this is going to work is I'm not going to mention his name, but I'm not going to delete anything either because it's free anyway. And number two, you're, I'm going to make you work to listen to him because if you can't even be bothered to follow his trades and then just listen to his really good videos – then seriously, there's something wrong with you. There's like just something wrong with you. It's like, why are you watching us? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make. I'm technically already on paper profit, but he hasn't said to sell you. He did say consider taking profits on your General Electric calls. I'm not gonna do that, though I probably should. Uh, but of course, the main problem with that is because um, I literally just learned of him like three, four days ago. I think maybe three days ago. So I'm already like. At the end tail end of the trade so i'm just going for him to say that i you know sold everything because he's done that before so you know i'll write the, i'll write this up um yeah and then the way i do it is i modify his trades so i buy way out of the money calls or puts or whatever play he's doing i do way out of the money options like he himself does on the money at the money so it's very expensive Another example is Alibaba Group. So he bought a 250 call on Alibaba, right? And right now the price is like $262.80. The problem is one call, I think it's for, let me check my sticky notes. Yeah, he bought it for July 16th, 2021, $250 strike call. So this thing is already like $4,000 for one call on Alibaba. There's no way I'm, I want to spend that much money, even though I can't afford it, right? Uh, it's just too much. So I buy way out of the money because it's a lot cheaper. And I suspect for a lot of you, it'll be a lot cheaper too. But again, you got to go to the stock guy, not to me. Because first of all, I only do these videos once a week, so it's completely useless to you. But if you come to my live stream, trovo.live.realjunsonchan, and that's actually been bought, it's actually been doing pretty well, even though I have to switch over to Trovo over stupid DLive. Uh, this is where we'll actually go over everything. However, it's still going to be behind, so you need to go to the source. And I do talk about the source, so uh, I mean that's all I'm just gonna say, cause whatever. <clears throat> um, and even if I tell my siblings that, it's just like I'm just gonna make my siblings <laughs> go to the live stream because if you can't, because you can't make the effort to go to my live stream, then that means you don't have the effort to just you know listen to the stock guy that's on youtube you know he's been doing this for 10 years i had, in fact i wish i knew of him when i started out right right when i started the cryptocurrency journey i would have i would actually be a multi-millionaire right now i wouldn't i actually would not have had to either make my movie or do acting but I, in a way i guess that was kind of the point right oh well at least god's helping me with the money stuff so uh, so we're not really going to go over any news articles anymore because it's all bullshit now. The stock guy uh, says it's all bullshit, which we kind of always knew. 
But now that we know the mechanics, it's actually because of the Federal Reserve. It's the central banks of the world that determine when things go up and go down. And then we, we then measure that uh, against crude oil prices, uh, precious metal prices, which is not listed here, but I'm relying on the stock guy to do it because I don't like precious metals anymore. Um, but he likes silver, so all right. Then we look at the dollar index. This is DXY. And there's supposed to be a two-year treasury yield, but for some reason, Yahoo does not display it. So I have the 13-week treasury bill. I have the 10-year treasury yield. This is the most important indicator we're going to use. And the treasury yield of 30 years. So from what I've gathered, when the treasury yield 10-year drops below 1%, that's when you should start <clears throat> having problems. All right, stocks go down. However, there are situations where it can go below 1%, but stocks still remain flat or go upwards. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, he doesn't explain that, because obviously that's part of his secret. But if you listen to his videos, he'll just make the call for you. So, so I'll eventually be able to figure out what the mechanics of that is. Also, this week is the Federal, Federal Reserve meeting, the FOMC, Federal Open Market Committee. So markets are always nervous. But he has his own, but the guy, the stock guy, has his own sources. And he said he's been doing this for a long time, obviously. So he's only gotten the Federal Reserve call, I mean, he's only called the Federal Reserve move wrong one time. Everything else has always been correct. And he said that this, like this week, they're just going to keep inflating the money supply. They're going to keep issuing more debt, which is hugely, hugely stock, stock market positive. And I'm going to miss that boat because, you know, I can't fucking buy anything because he, he already issued new trades and I can't buy anything because, again, my fucking stock market account is stuck and it's just so aggravating. I'm probably going to like put in another chat request just to check up on the progress of my thing because I do see my account because what the service customer service thing told me yesterday was. <clears throat> when I apply for a margin, they have to move my account over to a new account. Like, how, how long does this take? Like, 10 years? I did this shit on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Like, and, and here's the thing. The stock, I even explained how the money system works. They actually deliberately withhold your money for a few days. So they make money off it and then give it to you. So it's like they just constantly try to fuck you over. I, I just, like, the stock guy is co totally correct, right? The central banking system truly is evil, all right? And we can't do anything about it for now. So, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, technically, there will always be another opportunity, but I'm just pissed because I missed the GameStop. I missed BlackBerry. Now, what am I going to do when this shit starts skyrocketing tomorrow, right, on Wednesday? <sighs> oh, well. All right, anyway, I'm done, a little done with that rant. So Bitcoin interest has dropped, so this is kind of nice. And the nice thing is now I don't have to guess anymore. So this thing could finally go straight up, and we can still use this as an indicator and supplement it with the stock guy stuff, All right? Plus, uh, if I actually hear the call um, from my stock guy and myself, especially, probably, most likely, and he says sell everything in your crypto, uh, I'm going to do that. Um, one exception, though, is if he does it within the next six months, because I, cause I still believe that crypto, Bitcoin and crypto is still going to skyrocket towards the end of this year, because that's what Bitcoin has always done. Um, now, here's the thing. It's been flat for now for at least a few weeks. Like, I don't know what it's doing, which sucks because I have both puts and calls in my ledger x account and it's just going nowhere because of this and i and the clock's running out so i don't know we're just gonna have to see what happens and yeah crypto is down across the board uh again i don't actually know why um but nonetheless uh you know markets should be going up just not by a feverish pitch so again i think it's actually just the federal reserve shit so once the Federal Reserve uh, crap is done doing its thing tomorrow, we should have more clarity. Because at this point, everyone has more or less accepted that Joe Biden is president, so that uncertainty is gone. Um, and then Donald Trump is still kind of just, you know, leaving in the background. I don't want to get into the, like, the ops stuff because, you know, he's going to get banned on YouTube. So, 
So yeah, and then uh, Stock Guy says, you know, his hedge fund Wall Street because he used to work, he used to trade on Wall Street, right? He used to work for a hedge fund, so he still has contacts there. Yeah, he said that you know the rich hedge funds are actually buying up Bitcoin quietly. So eventually this thing will spike, but again, they're probably just going to do it quietly. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we don't care about the news. Yeah, so for the most part, things will be going up pretty well. It's going to be going up pretty well. You know what? I'm just going to put this over here. All right. But again, you're going to have to work for it because shit moves so fast in the stock markets that I just don't have time to, like, entertain anyone's, like, questions. You, you just go do it yourself. All right? The gut, the gut, it's like... You know, we teach you how to fish, and then even though you know how to fish, you, you still want me to, you know, get you fish? <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, God. Right, I, I, right now, I'm actually distracted so much because I really, A, I want to play my video games, and B, I want to use my stock market account. I'm so effing pissed. <clears throat> right? Everyone's going to become a millionaire, like, tomorrow after the Fed meeting resolves in the way that the market wants it to, and I'm gonna get left behind. And I'm like just gonna like punch a wall. And then it'll be too late. And then now I just have to like buy when everything else is already going up. Now what's interesting though is the stock guy even said that's actually okay. He actually was trying to, he actually teaches that you don't want to buy low and sell high. You want to buy high and sell higher. You want to buy into strength is what he says. So it's a totally different point of view and I really like Listening to people with different points of view, especially if they're different from my own, because that's the point of all this. How do you think I got as far as I did in life? Because I listened to different points of view. And anyone who's a black pill F word, you know, I just discarded because obviously the, he or she is a total loser. Right. They're just like, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. OK, what's your solution? How are we going to profit off of it? You know, how are we going to do it? Like, oh, just, just, uh, the sky is falling. Just 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 buy a lot of food and hide in your house and then don't do anything. It's like I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with a retard. All right. Just dealing with a retard. <sighs> All right. So, well, the good news is I don't have to look at this. So the only thing I really want to look at with Coin Telegraph, what's Coin Telegraph? Is we're just gonna read the headlines. Uh, let's see, so Janet Yellen, former Fed chair, is now Treasury Secretary. So they're going moves forward with stalled crypto monitoring rule. Uh, I mean, for the small guy, that's a problem. For the big guy, I think it might be fine. Uh, engine fashion signal or poor exploit payment futures. Too many results. Bitcoin blow off top. Says chain analyst. Da 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 da. Black bar entries reflects a change in institutional out look in crypto oh this is black rock yeah black rock is uh, buying up a lot of crypto so all the all the rich people who have direct access to the big banks and the central banks yeah they're buying up crypto um but it's not causing shit to go up just yet i, I think i guess because they still want it for cheaper <clears throat> so i have to return this indicator it says yeah, yeah. So the stock guy also does cryptocurrencies. So he also says that it's also going to go up, but it's still under pressure. And he hasn't said because he he still hasn't said it's going to go a crash. Nothing's going to crash, not yet. He doesn't have any indicators of that. Uh, and I guess I'm okay with the market just kind of going up slowly, like a this is like an okay amount, like or a small amount, because again, I don't have access to my fucking stock market account. All right, I don't want this shit to skyrocket when I when I am out of the market. I want to get into the market. Because now is the time to make money. Because the, the, the shitty small positions I was able to have that was recent, it's actually in profit right now. It's really good. <clears throat> so I know I can probably make at least a few grand if I really want to risk more money. Maybe even like several thousand a month following his stuff. And then I'll be able to scale upwards. So, yeah. Uh, so aside from So aside from this... Yeah, I don't really see anything different. Yeah, I see BlackRock's getting into crypto. Uh, Janet Yellen and U.S. Treasury are going to continue to regulate Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a problem. Uh, actually, Bitcoin double spend. Actually, what is the thumbnail for this? Actually, we probably do want to read this article. Because what exactly are you going to do? And then we'll call it. 
Uh, Treasury has opened up comment period for self-hosted wallet requirements for another 60 days. Okay, so it's just the comment period. Okay. Yeah, the crypto community was angry. Um, who buying that treasury now back in the when that would be, would be less antagonistic? Who buying that treasury would be less antagonistic towards crypto? Well, I hope that's true, but again, everybody in Washington's a lying scumbag f word piece of shit so they'll say one thing and they'll do another thing right there's a lot of shit libs and liberals who say joe biden's great and then it's like why did i vote for joe biden he's killing my jobs he just killed the keystone pipeline he said he promised us the stimulus checks now but now he's saying he's delayed to march what, what, what did i do yeah dumbass you should have voted for trump because even though you don't like him he would have given you your stupid fucking checks and also, the Democrats and Republicans are the same party. They're, they're just, you know, they're just circle jerking each other. We, ha we are under communistic rule in all but name, all right? This Republican versus Democrat shit is bullshit. They're all working together uh, under blackmail, essentially. And then number two, there are a lot of retard shit libs that just still think there's political, like political ideology kind of matters. It's like... It's like you're just a tool. Like, we're all tools and pawns. All right, so this is a 2 It's just in our 60-day common period. So, okay, so that means it's not being implemented yet. And chances are people are just going to say, don't do this, you effing scumbag, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully that does, you know, does something. All right. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. And also my bit shoot at bitshoot.com forward slash real Johnson Chan. Uh, and my Trovo is also the same thing. This is where I do my uh, you know live stream stuff. So you know you want to you want to, you want to talk about the stock guy I talk about, you come to my live stream. I also accidentally show the guy that I talked about so you just have to pause it and go find him yourself. Um, but even if you do find them, you have to, uh, you have to sign up for his newsletter. It's all free. And then you just have to do the thing yourself. And he does trade when the market is active. So, th so that is your job now. All right. It's not up to me to help you with that. Uh, not really, but come into my live stream and we can talk about it. All right. Cause I only learned about this guy from doing these live streams. So again, God has helped us, helped me out and helped us out. And now I don't have to worry about money. Once I can use my effing stupid stock market account, I'm just, the thing's making me so mauled. I'll see you uh, guys and gals next Tuesday uh, pending a black ops event or white ops event. There's no such thing as a black swan event anymore. Everything is rigged. Uh, and now I'm learning the mechanics of that rigging. And that's, and then what if, so if we know what's going to happen ahead of time, just like Congress or Nancy Pelosi does, she bought half a million to a million dollars worth of tesla calls 450 strike back in november 2020 oh and what happens now she's made like you know several tens of millions of dollars or whatever or several million dollars right and then it's 100 percent legal because politicians can do that you can't do that this effing system we're gonna have to take it down um or at least just let us have access to the system too see you all next tuesday